Grey Relic here, aka Doom Fox on Minecraft, and here with part three of my Batania tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering how to build the portal to Alfheim, and let's get started. So for this, you're going to need a few things. Uh, you're going to need first off an Elven Gateway Core, which is going to take one Terra Steel ingot and a Living Wood. So, once you have the ter once you have that, you will place it here. Simple. Next thing you're going to need is three glimmering living wood like this, which is w just simply one living wood and one glowstone to make one glimmering living wood. So, we'll grab that. We'll place it here, here, and here. Then you're going to need eight just plain living wood. Here, 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 and here. Good. That's the frame of the portal. Then you're going to need mana, two mana pools, one here and one here. And you're going to need Natura pylons above the mana pools, like that. To make a Natura pylon, first you want mana pylons which is a mana diamond, two mana steel ingots, and two gold ingots like that to make one pylon. Then to make a nature to make two nature pylons, you make put one terra steel ingot with a mana pylon to either side, and you get two nature pylons. <laughs> then once you have that, simply right click the port right click the elven gateway core. And your portal is set. The trick is you have to have a lot of mana in the pool to start it. It doesn't take much to keep it going, but it takes a lot to start the pool. So, once you have all that, you can start throwing things through the portal to get more to get new items. First up is is elementium, which you get by throwing in mana steel. So, throwing two mana steel ingots you get one elementium ingot. Throw in two blocks of mana steel, and you get a block of elementium. Next up is dream wood. You throw do this by throwing in living wood. See? Dream wood. And that's what I've used here and over there to build with. Anyways, then we have dragon stone, which you get by throwing in a mana diamond. And lastly, Pixie Dust, which, and Mana Pearl. Simple, right? Now, I should show you how to make a, a Terra Steel Ingot. For this, you're going to need a beacon. I should probably get that. Yeah, you're going to need a beacon. Turn off the rain. Now, once you have the beacon, set up a mana pool next to it. Then you're going to want to drop a mana diamond, a mana steel, and a mana pearl right on top of the beacon. It's usually best if you have access to it to try and fly, because otherwise you'll you might end up picking the item back up. Oh, I dropped the wrong item. There we go. So once you have the three items on top, uh, I screwed this up a little. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's try this again. So diamond, steel, and pearl. Now once you have those three items together, it'll drain mana from the pool and create terra steel. It takes half a pool of mana to make one Terra Steel ingot, so you're going to want to get really good mana generation if you want a lot of this stuff. That should just about cover it for this tutorial. In the next one, it, uh, next part video, I will not cover anything, but I will try and fight the Gaia Guardian, the last part of Batania. And after, if I succeed... Heck, if I, if I don't succeed, I will show you some of, I will show you some of the items you can make with the Gaia spirit. Until then, I'll see you next time.